under the skin the car will be a twin with the latest E-Class, but from our spy shots it appears the CLS will be the longer and wider of the two. This makes sense as the model is meant to bridge the gap between the A-Class and S-Class. Our shots also show that the CLS will feature an almost identical dashboard design to the E-Class. The car's platform is the familiar MRA design that currently sits in the C-Class and D-Class. It means the choice of rear or all-wheel drive, a standard 9-speed automatic, and plug-in hybrid capability. In the United States, the standard powertrain should be Mercedes' new turbocharged 3.0-liter inline 6. Above this is expected to sit a new Mercedes AMG CLS 53 also packing an inline 6 albeit with a high-powered electric motor to boost output to V8-like levels. There won't be a direct replacement for AMG's existing CLS 63, as the Affalter Bank Tuner is planning its own fastback sedan previewed by the GT concept unveiled at the 2017 Geneva Auto Show. We've also spied prototypes for this model which is tipped to be on sale in mid-2018. Although prototypes for AMG sedan resemble the CLS, they have a lower and wider stance along with unique designs for the lights and grill. Look for the redesigned CLS to also arrive in showrooms during 2018. A reveal has been confirmed for this month.